Hello folks, uh, today I'm answering a question about discount stacking. First of all, a discount stacking is a situation where more than one discount is being triggered on an item during checkout, right? And the question is how should the app behave? In reality, it's always up to the merchant and there's a ton of different ways that scenario can be handled, right? So both discounts can be triggered. Let's say that there's a bunch of discounts that are being triggered. So an app can allow for everything to just simply automatically trigger. An app can ask a merchant which one of these discounts that's qualifying do you want to choose, right? Or an app can force just one of those discounts to be triggered and not more. Uh, so, you know, different behavior. And then what happens if a customer changes their mind? Like you delete an item, do you have to delete the entire order or can you just delete an item and reconfigure? So all of that is handled very perfectly with an app called Mix or Match. So the Mix or Match is an app that you can use to set up all kinds of different discounts. And then within it, there's definitely also a scenario where you can do the stacking settings, right? So the stacking settings that we have will be um, do not allow discount stacking, in which case a merchant will be forced to pick one or the other. Um, allow discount stacking with two different configurations. One that says always apply all triggered discounts, right? So everything that triggers gets applied and prompt me to select. Prompting me to select on this option will allow the merchant to select more than one, but still select they must. So let's actually start with that one. Um, so I already have two discounts, test A and test B, and let me show you how they're configured. They're a little different, right? So the test A is configured for all the time for $2, and the difference comes on this next screen where it's a match, right? So the same item has to be bought twice, and it triggers on every two, okay? Um, and the item that we've selected is an ice cream. Simple enough. Now, ice cream also has modifiers. So it's another wrench in the middle here. So, um, you know, can this work with the modifiers? The answer is yes, and you'll see in a minute. Now, test B is a little bit different. So it's always, again, it's a 50 cent discount. Um, you know, it's also a match, but it triggers on all items after first, um, you know, and after first two. Uh, uh, and, and it goes to that same ice cream there, right? So that kind of makes it a stack because now you have two discounts that qualify for the same item at the same time. Everything is configured. Now let's try the register and see what happens. So here we are. We, let me just make sure that I have a new register open. There it is. We're going to go to dessert and we're going to remember that ice cream is a modifying item, right? So we want to make sure that we pick our modifier. I'm going to grab my strawberry here. Uh, done. And so far we have ice cream, just one. Everything is perfect. But then we want to grab another ice cream. And now the mixer match is going to ask us, you know, two discounts are triggering. Which one do you want? You can choose both like so. Um, okay. And both discounts are triggered. <laughs> I don't know what that was real quick there. Uh, so there it is. Both discounts, test A, test B, and test B. Because the conditions are different, right? Like test A triggers on every two, and test B triggers on all after two. Different statement. But let's say now a customer changes their mind, and they go, oh, you know what? We don't want that ice cream. You don't want the ice cream. The discounts are no longer true. They don't trigger. But if you go back and you say, oh, you know what? I do want an ice cream. Okay, now you can select again. You know, I want both discounts. Uh, test A, test B, right? Um, although it's a little different now. Let's see, there it is. Now it's all. Um, so there it is. Like you can see that uh, that basically gets handled every time the transaction runs. Um, and then if we go to mix or match, um, we can go to stacking and say always apply all trigger discounts, all right? So now there'll be no prompt. Uh, that'll just trigger all the time. And let's go ahead and just start a new order. There we go. And we're going to dessert and we're gonna grab our ice cream. And I'm gonna go back here, modifier, and clap my strawberry, right? And say that I'm done. Okay, so now I have my strawberry done. Um, I can go back and grab another ice cream. 
and both discounts automatically get triggered no questions because that's the setting right but if we go and delete one of these uh, discounts are removed if we add one of these discounts are not added because it's a different item uh, and it wasn't selected but if we add this item back discounts are triggered again okay so that's the option and then the third option on the stacking is obviously not allowing the stacking um, which is this right here all right so now we have it on stacking and we're going to go to register i'm going to hit save here we're going to grab um, our dessert i'm going to grab our ice cream um, grab you know strawberry modifier okay and now we want to go back to ice cream again and now it forces us to choose either a or b we can't pick both so we're gonna say b and b triggers on all items after two um, and if we get rid of that uh, that condition is no longer true so the discount is gone and if we choose the ice cream again it chooses it forces us to choose again and we can say test a a triggers on every two items so there it is on every two items so that's how discount stacking works with all the different use case scenarios, including a uh, customer changing their mind mid-transaction. Hope this is helpful. Thank you.